So, which of the Samsung Galaxy S21 lineup should you buy? The regular, the plus, or the ultra? In this video, we're gonna be talking about which Samsung Galaxy is best for you and which one you should go ahead and buy. So without further ado, let's get straight right into the video. So the Samsung Galaxy S21 family is here and with three different phones to choose from. Samsung says there is a Galaxy S21 for everyone. Unlike previous years, not all the Galaxy S21 family are created equally. The Galaxy S21 and the Galaxy S21 Plus are designed for those who want an affordable, affordable flagship experience. While the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra offers everything you should want in a smartphone. There's a lot of similarities and quite a few differences between the Galaxy S21 and the Galaxy S21 Plus. So what are they? and which one should you buy? Here, I'm gonna break down all the similarities, the difference, and why you should go and buy, and why you shouldn't buy each of these models. So, let's get straight into it. So, who should buy the Samsung Galaxy S21? If you're looking for a great entry into Samsung smartphones experience, that doesn't break the bank. The regular S21 is a great device to buy. Just at a starting price of $799 before any discounts, it's an affordable yet offers many features that are available in more expensive models. Yet, it's definitely not the powerhouse that the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra is. So, if you're hoping for the most feature-rich experience, the regular S21 is not the device for you. The regular S21 offers all of the key Galaxy S21 family features, which the 6.2 inch Infinity O display offering FHD resolution with a HDR10 Plus certification and adaptive refresh, for, refresh rate that will automatically adjust from 4 to 5 hertz to 120 hertz, depending on what content is on your screen. There's also a new eye comfort shield feature that automatically adjusts blue light levels to reduce eyes strain. So who should buy the Samsung Galaxy S21 Plus? The Galaxy S21 Plus won't appeal to many people, but it's not designed for everyone, like Samsung says. If you're interested in an entry-level Galaxy S20 and or won't want a bigger screen that won't break the bank. Like the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra will in for, for many other people. The Galaxy S21 Plus is the right phone for you. It offers vertically everything with the Galaxy S21 does, including the same processor, RAM, storage, and camera. But these are a few key differences. The screen is larger at 6.7 inches. The battery is 20% bigger at 4,800 milliamp hour. And the Galaxy S21 Plus also supports the, the ultra wide band feature fun in the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra. The back is also glass like the Galaxy S21 Ultra versus the plastic back found with the Samsung Galaxy S21. Other than those differences, however, the Galaxy S21 Plus is basically a larger version of the Galaxy S21. So, that brings me on to who should buy the Galaxy S21 Ultra. So, while the Galaxy S21 and the Galaxy S21 Plus are designed for those who want the latest flagship experience and more accessible price point that, than last year, where the Samsung Galaxy S20 started at $999 and the S20 Plus started at $1,199. The Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra is designed and to offer the best of the best experience that lies no stone returned. That's not to say it isn't also available at a more affordable price. The starting price of $1,199 is $200 cheaper than the last year's Note 20 Ultra. To offer the ultimate flagship experience, you have to offer everything. And that's the best way to look at the Galaxy S21 Ultra. It is the phone that does everything. Unlike last year where the S20 Ultra was a bit better than the Galaxy S20 Plus, the Ultra is the phone to beat and is considerably different from its namesake siblings. The display is a 6.8 curved 
dynamic AMOLED display with WQHD plus resolution. And like the previous smartphones, it supports the cell QHD resolution at the 120 hertz refresh rate. Also, unlikely, unlike the siblings, it can automatically adjust from 10 hertz, 10 gigahertz versus 48 gigahertz to 120 gigahertz. This means static content like reading books or browsing photos or considerably reduce the refresh rate and therefore likely using less battery. The Galaxy S21 is an easy phone to recommend. It offers many flagship features at a great starting price, especially when you consider all the Galaxy S21 deals available to save you further. On the other hand, the Galaxy S21 Plus is a phone that hard to recommend for most people as it doesn't offer a lot of features above the beyond what's available in the Samsung Galaxy S21. If you want the bigger battery and bigger display then it could be worth buying but it's worth considering the extra $200 outlay is really worth it for you. The Galaxy S21 Ultra is the phone that's likely to be most popular, much like the Galaxy S20 Ultra and the Note 20 Ultra were. It's really the phone that does it all and really lives up to Samsung billing of catering to the power user. There's very little you could want that isn't included in the Galaxy S21 Ultra. At the lowest starting price than last year's, plus plenty of Galaxy S21 ultra deals to help you save money. It's likely to continue being one of Samsung's most popular products range. So hopefully that video has opened your eyes more about the Samsung Galaxy S21 Plus, the Samsung Galaxy S21 regular and the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra. So hopefully that's been able to help you decide on which phone should be the best for you. If you wanna go all out and you wanna get all the best features from the new flagship phone from Samsung, then you should definitely spend that extra money and buy the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra. But if you're on the budget side and you want something that is a flagship phone from Samsung this year, but offers a lot of usabilities and offers a lot of features, then look at the Samsung Galaxy S20 um, regular. And, the, and for the Galaxy S21, Plus, if you want a bigger display, then and you don't mind, uh, and you don't mind spending a little bit of money to get a bigger display, then go for the Plus because they're exactly the same phone as the regular, um, as the regular Gal as the regular Galaxy S21, um, with but the only difference being that it has a 6.2 inch display. But yeah, guys, hopefully that's helped you guys decide which phone that you would want to get with the new Galaxy S21 lineup range. Anyway guys, if that video has helped you, then don't forget to consider smacking that like button. Also subscribe, turn on your post notifications so you don't miss out on any videos that I post on this channel because it's all about tech. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next one. Peace.